Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day, bringing you episode 2 of my Tinker's Construct mod spotlight, specifically for Minecraft 1.18. Uh, the mod pack that I'm using for this is uh, all the mods 7, and yesterday we ended up finishing the entry level stuff, which was the crafting tables. Today what I want to focus in on is going to be uh, how to make the cast and how to make the smeltery controller. Those are the next two important things to progress in when it comes to this mod in 1.18. Uh, first thing, of course, we can use our mattock that we used last time to gather some clay, some sand, and some gravel. And what we have to do is we have to turn this stuff into grout. That's 64 grout. Simple, we put it into an iron furnace and this stuff will smelt into these uh, seared bricks that we can use. Once we have the seared bricks, we also need some glass. Uh, the first item we should make is going to be the seared melter, which requires either a seared ingot gauge or a seared fuel gauge. It doesn't really matter which one we use. Uh, it has the same uh, amount, four bricks, five glass. So we'll make one of these dudes and then uh, we can put this guy in the middle and surround him with more bricks to make the seared melter. That's the first item that we need. Uh, we also need a seared casting basin. Uh, so let's move this up one. We make one seared casting basin. We also need a seared faucet, which I believe these dudes come in threes. We can make three of those dudes. We need a seared heater, which is just a circle. Like so. Uh, we need a seared fuel tank, which is a circle and a piece of glass in the middle. There we go. And uh, the last item is going to be the smeltery controller, which uh, the way it shows it in JEI is we need to have this system hooked up and we need to pour molten copper onto a seared heater and it will turn into the smeltery controller. So before we do that, let's go ahead and set this stuff up. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put the seared heater down first, right here. We're going to put the seared melter down on top of it. We're going to put the casting basin in front of it. And we're going to put the faucet in front of that. So there's two ways that we can get the seared melter to work. We can either put coal inside the heater and then we can melt the copper this way by using a seared heater with coal or we could use a seared fuel tank which we can uh, go down uh, find ourselves some lava fill this guy up with lava and use it uh, with lava power as well so let me grab that real quick okay so here we go we have a seared fuel tank we'll go ahead and put this guy down and, uh, I made another seared melter for this example. We can put this guy on top. And let's go ahead and start melting down some iron ingots in this one. We can also put a faucet on the front of that. And let's see, this dude melted up three ingots. We'll put the fourth one in right now. And it also needs another piece of coal. There we go. So how to make casts. Uh, the first thing that I, we need to make is we need to do the... Uh, the craft for a seared casting table, which is the exact opposite of a casting basin. We need one of these casting tables. And we'll put the casting table in front of our iron right here. So to make casts, uh, we can make temporary ones and we can make permanent ones. So the temporary ones are made out of sand. We put sand into a crafting grid. It gives us blank sand cast. We can put one down inside. And depending on what we want to make a temporary cast out of, uh, let's go ahead and we can choose out of cobblestone. We can make another pick. So let's upgrade our pick. Pickaxe head. We have to make a stone pickaxe head. And then we have to right click the sand with it. And then we right click it again to take the piece back out. And it leaves a temporary mold inside the sand. So let me put this guy off into the chest. And what we can do is if you look at the pattern for pickaxe head, 
it says pattern cost two. That's the reason why I put two ingots of iron in here. So what we can do now is we can right click this guy. We can cast out those two ingots of iron into the, uh, the sand mold and we can right click and there we go. We have upgraded our tool uh, into an iron uh, pickaxe head. So then to upgrade this guy, uh, all we have to do is take our stone pickaxe put in our iron piece and there we go we can upgrade into iron we can do the same thing with the blank sand casts for all of our tools so our uh, our comma our our axe our matic we can upgrade all of them to iron this way but also since we're doing it this way it's kind of tedious because this uh, melter can only hold 12 ingots and it can only smelt three at a time it's pretty limited if you think about it this way to make the, uh, whatchamacallit, the repair kits. Now that we have iron, these repair kits, they have to be made out of iron. So we have to smelt the iron and we have to make temporary molds. So let me see, let me grab one of these dudes. Right click, right click. Makes a mold for it. We would have to melt uh, three at a time and we have to cast them out one at a time, each one with a blank sand cast. That's way too much work. Uh, so I would recommend against doing this and going from this point here to uh, making the smeltery controller. So another thing that we can do is we can take gold, we can put gold inside of the melter, and instead of making these temporary sand casts, what we can do is we can make a permanent uh, gold cast that will uh, we can use it more than once instead of the sand ones. So I got uh, another one of these uh, stone sharpening kits. I put it in there. We can smother it with uh, the iron and that will make us a permanent repair kit gold cast. So it's a gold cast for repair kits specifically. Uh, and we don't need to use the blank sand casts, which can only be used once. Now we can use the, uh, the, the gold casts for an unlimited supply, as long as we keep melting the uh, iron in here three at a time and casting them out. So like I had it up here, the smeltery controller, you cast four ingots onto a seared heater. So since we already had this setup made, we have a seared heater here that was heating the unit. After we have the four ingots in there, we can just pick this guy up, put him in here, right click the four ingots of copper, and this guy will slowly start turning into the smeltery controller. We right click, and there we go, we have a smeltery controller. So that's the next most important thing I would say we should do. Uh, instead of doing this entire setup that I showed you guys as an example, we should skip it entirely and uh, go straight for making the smeltery controller so that next time we can put together a, uh, a full smeltery together. But since we're already here and we have upgraded our pickaxe to iron, uh, now we can mine diamonds. And uh, I will show you guys, see upgrades three, one of the most important upgrades, I would say, is grabbing one diamond. We can go over here into the Tinker Station, and we can upgrade this guy with uh, a diamond tip on it. So if you look at the regular iron pickaxe, it has a durability of 287. With the diamond tip, it goes up to 862, which that in itself is worth the upgrade. So. Uh, specifically for the iron pickaxe, I'm not sure if I would waste diamonds at the very beginning for things like the axe or the mattock or anything like that, but definitely for the pickaxe, since vein mining now, uh, we can vein mine for more before the pickaxe breaks, and uh, we can uh, still upgrade on the fly using our uh, repair kits, which I think is pretty sweet. So as you can see at the bottom, upgrades two, we used one of our upgrades. And uh, I have something special lined up for the ability slot. 
But to do that, we need to get our Tinker Smeltery up and running. And that's the whole reason why I wanted to show you guys how to make the Smeltery controller first, because this guy is the brain of the Smeltery. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep this series going, and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full, unedited progress, hit up my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. I put the link in the description below for you guys.